no one wants to go for a march with Tommy Robinson. We made very clear to the police early on that it was a concern of ours. And also that if he did intend to, to march, um, we would do what we normally do when people turn up who are uninvited, you know, um, and the plan was that if Tommy Robinson turned up, we would make sure that um, his unwelcomeness was was made very clearly apparent. But we also were hoping that the police would um, deal with the situation themselves, which uh, which they did. The organisers of this march, the campaign against anti-Semitism, had made it clear at the outset that they didn't want Tommy Robinson here. This is the uh, controversial far right activist, and uh, he had. Um, uh, been asked by the police to um, move along. Um, a, a dispersal order was issued under uh, the Public Order Act. Now, when he refused, he was then arrested. So that was Toby Robinson out of the picture. I could ask you to stay there, please. Thank you very much. I like, oh, know, I have heard I want, you. I don't want to stay here. I want to leave. Well, in that case, sir, I'm going that way. when the crowd is gone, I will help you escort you out. I'm going to walk. No, I don't think no, I don't want anybody on capitalising anyone. Yeah, and at the moment, sir, you are quite openly Jewish. This is a pro Palestinian march. I'm not accusing you of anything, but I'm worried about the reaction to your presence. There's a unit of people here now, and they've been escorted out of this area so you can go about your business the way you want it freely, or if you choose to remain here because you are causing a breach of peace with these other people. Very threatening stuff. And the officer turns to him and he says, you're not having a very productive conversation with the gentleman, are you? And the man says back to the officer, I ain't broke no law in it. I'm just a civilian going for a walk. Which and I, and, and the officer replies, that's absolutely fine. I just thought, I'm a civilian going for a walk. Okay. I haven't broken any law. How come I'm the one being threatened with arrest? Here's the thing. You've got every right to walk anywhere you darn well please uh, in any city in this country. And I defend that right. And indeed, I think I'm going to be out there on Saturday defending that right. Because I think all right thinking people should be doing that to make that clear.